Views expressed on this program are those of the host, guests, and callers, and do not necessarily reflect the views of the station, its management, or advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to Empowered Through Health with Diane Solano, bringing you interviews with health and wellness experts from around the globe, educating, entertaining, and inspiring. Empowered Through Health starts now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's empowerment show, an empowerment through health. Why? Because many of you, if you've chimed in before through our previous episodes, you're joining us now, you're going to learn that the human body is so powerful and it is so inspiring to be part of the human connection. My background is in orthomolecular nutrition. My name is Diane Solano. And every other week, we have fabulous guests from around the world sharing amazing tools that are here to change your health, change your life, and empower and educate you. So with no further ado, I'm going to bring on our guests. But first, I want to have a little disclaimer to let you know that today's conversation is not to diagnose. It's not to, you know, you know, let you know about any specific health condition. It's just really about what you can do from a health standpoint, from taking care of your body with natural strategies that are changing lives around the globe. And if you need to have those conversations, you know you got to check in with your doctor, your healthcare provider. But in the meantime, why not learn about some really cool stuff that's changing the globe? Right now, we're going to talk with our cognition coach, Joshua Campbell, who's our special guest. And what I love about Josh when I first met Josh was that he specializes in forensic investigation. He's also a specialist as a trainer, and he brings in that science with that athleticism and just has this wonderful way of integration, which has led him to be one of the leading cognition coaches around the globe. And he's just expanding this concept and this life-changing six-minute-a-day modality that I personally have had wonderful results with. So with no further ado, um, Josh, if you don't mind sharing today, what is a cognition coach? Maybe you can share with our viewers a little more about what that means and how it's changing lives. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Dan, for having me. So cognition First off, that is to do with the brain. So like your body, the brain's a muscle. And so like any muscle, to get it stronger, one, you want to feed it, but you also want to train it. So cognition is a six-minute brain workout. So if you're going to the gym or maybe you have kids and you lift up your kids and you're like, oh, they gained a little bit, or maybe you go and pick another weight up, what cognition does is that in the six-minute interval, it's adaptive and individual to you and me is that it's going to challenge your brain to take it to that next level to unlock more of your potential. I love it. You know, just like you go to the gym, you know, the membership, run on the treadmill, it's the same concept, but only six minutes. You put on a set of glasses, and I actually have mine here for the viewers to see. It's a really cool um, software. And you, you just, like you open up your laptop, your computer, you sit down in front of the screen for six minutes, and you follow... Um, some balls that I guess are there to brain, train your brain, create something called neuroplasticity. Um, yeah. What I loved about it, Josh, is I felt the difference pretty quickly. And it started to give me feedback on my body, but it was so simple. And never have we been able to access um, mainstream tools to help our brain function. And that's why I was so excited when I met you and learned about this program is because, man, my background was in brain rehabilitation. I worked at the Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy Center. We fed brains nutrient protocols because brains are another powerful organ. They need oxygen, they need nutrition, but they also need training. And a lot of people aren't aware of this. And why do we wait until we're not well to seek answers? I love the idea as a busy mom, no longer feeling foggy brained and no longer feeling the same exhaustion, sleeping deeper after I started integrating the actual exercises, which is so, so cool. What kind of transformations have you seen um, out there? What kind of people can, you know, be using the software um, it, and it's based on artificial intelligence? Maybe you can talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. So there, there's a lot. There. So let's start with the first one. What are people noticing? What are the benefits? So better attention and better focus. And some people say, well, how will six minutes a day impact my attention and focus? And that ties into some of the artificial intelligence, you see, because when you're training the brain, it's three main concepts that is in the cognition training, target, track, identify. 
like anything else, whether you're driving, whether you're a first responder, whether you have kids, whether you're a professional chef um, or you're running a storefront, you have multiple things that you're paying attention to or multiple objects that you're targeted and you're tracking as you're moving in space and time. Then you have to identify them. Then you have to prioritize which ones are higher priority, which ones are lower priority. So what you need to act on first. So with that, what people are finding is that their selective attention and their distributed attention is better. And the best analogy for that is think of yourself when you're back in a classroom or a virtual classroom, you're looking at a screen and there's other stuff going on beside you. How much of your attention is on the screen and how much of it is being taken to things that are happening in your day to day. So by training your brain and being more attentive, people are realizing that, hey, they're more engaged with the material and what you're paying attention to, you often tend to retain more. And that ties into some of the focus. Because if you are in, if you're driving or a first responder, every second counts. And if you're not on point every second, what will happen is you may miss things. And those crucial moments, whether you need to respond to something while you're driving, you're playing high level sports, and you need to make that inch, inch of a pass, you need to act rather than stay stuck, or maybe not move rather than move in, all those things tie in, and then something called working memory. So a lot of people say, well, hey, I'm multitasking, and that's an aspect of it, but being able to do multiple things or seeming like you're doing multiple things at a time is something that people have reported. And those keep coming in and in. And because it's six minutes, it's not a huge inconvenience from your day. So I have people coming and saying to me, hey, I had so much fun doing it. And that's, I think, where the real skill is, is that if you can have fun in the experience and be engaged, that it's, it's no longer a chore. It's, oh, I'm looking forward to training as opposed to, oh, training. I love it. You know, it's no longer me having to like put on the clothes, drive to the gym, find the parking. It's really literally hair in a bun, open up my laptop, press a button and for six minutes go. And to believe that in six minutes, man, I, I noticed the difference in my sleep. And again, I'm, I'm a busy mompreneur. So my head is everywhere. And sometimes with that multitasking, I actually draw blanks a lot where I sit there going, well, what was I doing next? But I found with the neuro tracker, it just allowed me to just jump from one thing to another. It's like, I felt like I was in my twenties again, <laughs> which was really awesome. I love the story of the cognition neuro tracker program. It's been around but it was only reserved for NASA. It was only reserved for the military. Only, only elite sports teams were actually using this, like Manchester, Manchester United, I think that was the first um, soccer correct. team that actually used the software. Their uh, whole team, all of a sudden, you know, by training their brain and being able to be quicker, by the following season, they were just crushing the records. People were asking, like, what is the team doing? And recently, you just had an interview with uh, one of the coaches, didn't you, around that? Yes, I did. So I had the chance to chat with Mick Clegg, who was a former power and development coach at Manchester United, within some of their glory days, if we want to call them that. I'm sure that there are more to come. But what he was saying to me is that, hey, this wasn't something that was being looked at. Because top athletes have access to some of the top nutrition. They have access to some of the top technologies, but they're looking for ways to up their game. How can I get better? How, how, what can happen? And in the conversation, he says, well, if you can learn to activate things in your mind first, the body will follow. So they would use it in combination to train because you're just working the body in different modalities. So what I found super interesting is that, hold on, this wasn't available for people like myself, that Diane, it before, and I was like, but why not? I mean, why wouldn't you want to get better if you could? I mean, what would you do with a little bit more focus, with a little bit more attention? So when I was chatting with him, he said, absolutely, anybody who is, has a busy day would want to use cognition. And that's there. And I was like, tell me more about that. And he's like, well, because if you can activate it in the mind first, it all starts up here, whether it's power in the gym or you want to be um, better at what you're doing in your day to day as a busy professional or as a parent, it's, that's where it starts. So I was like, wow. Okay. And that's what I loved about it was that it's for mainstream never before has people mainstream been able to have access 
to products that are going to enhance your brain that are safe for everyone. Children can use it. Even kids who are challenged, ADD, ADHD. I mean, that was my background. You know, we worked with the diet. We worked with the gut. There's many angles to this that a lot of practitioners do around the world, myself included, and no one really combined the two. And that's where I found the secret sauce really laid right there. And what was fascinating was when you and I sat down and chatted, I know your numbers personally and the people you train were breaking records, even within NeuroTracker and Cognition, because you combined the power of nutrition and feeding the brain with the actual exercises. And that combination, again, bodies don't lie. They're super honest. So all of a sudden, Josh, you know, you're having like these record breaking numbers And I'm sitting there going, what is he doing? Oh, he just got the best of both worlds. And it makes so much sense. In the past, you either had to know about one or you didn't know about the other, or you had to be very ill, or you had to go to a special, you know, brain clinic, which exists around the world, but they're so under the radar. And usually people seek these things out when they're desperate and they're hurting. Why not step into your own power and have your aging parents go on it, have the busy entrepreneur go on it. You're driving vehicles around the world. You are a firefighter, you're a pilot. Wow. This can totally up your game. And again, it's just like going to the gym with the difference that it's on your computer. It's six minutes long and it's a lot of fun and it's based on artificial intelligence. That's the part that caught my attention. Cause it's not like, well, you know, we're all doing this. How do I know I'm improving? Because there's software that knows, Hey, Diane or Josh is at this level. And when they come back tomorrow and the day after, we know how to take their brain to the next and keep stretching them so that they just keep improving. And what I thought was really cool, Josh, maybe you can talk a little bit more about this, was that I also realized when I didn't sleep well or I ate, you know, a lot of sugary foods or a lot of inflammatory foods, maybe I indulged on a pizza weekend, right, which happens. And then I'm like, wow, my numbers are not the same. Why is that? So that's, that's something that we talk about in terms of process and speed. So I've heard many health practitioners say that the brain is the most nutrient dependent, energy dependent, stress vulnerable, and toxin vulnerable system. But when you look at some of those, sleep has a really big role to play. Because what I've learned is that the blood is both weight staff and the hazmat team in the brain. So if you're not sleeping, you're not giving yourself ample time to remove some of those toxins. What does that even mean? You may feel off when you don't sleep. And I'm sure there are things that we do that we're like, oh my gosh, I gave me so much energy. Think of the last time you went um, to a beach and you smelled the f- fresh air and you're like, oh, I'm invigorated versus you see a pile of papers on your desk and you're like, oof, that I don't really want to do. But it shows up and it's a measurable number because what happens is that the artificial intelligence says, okay, well, today, right now, you can't track this. Something's going on and it steps the speed down. And if you still can't track it, it steps the speed down. And I've noticed that when I don't sleep well or when I don't eat very well, my scores are lower, which means to me as biofeedback that up here, my brain isn't functioning at its best. And it's a huge difference, almost almost a magnitude of four times difference. I'm like, wow, okay, sleep's really important and I need to go and get some more, prioritize myself. Yeah, that feedback is really, really key, you know, and and that's when we know what to do, what not to do. So let's talk a little bit about nutrition, because we know now we got the workout happening, but you know, we got to eat whole foods. So for those of you on the show, what are you doing diet wise foods without labels, you know, foods at all natural omega three fatty acids, excellent for the brain, Um, you know, the fishes, the fruits, the vegetables, the nuts, the seeds, You know, of course, everyone's going to be biochemically unique, but ultimately we want to feed the body that we want to feed the gut, the probiotics. We want to be able to nourish because that's part of, and you'll notice it, right? When you do that six minute workout a day cognition, you'll notice, wow, when I eat this way, here's my scores and I feel it. So it's a great measurable that gives you feedback on your body. I'm going to pivot a little bit and I'm going to bring up the conversation around medicinal mushrooms because I know that's been one of your secret sauces in getting the scores that you're getting is you have access to one of the world's best uh, companies that make the most profound bioavailable medicinal mushroom extracts, uh, Ganoderm lucidum, which I know you've been um, really great at facilitating to all your professionals that jump on. And this is part of the reason why you guys are scoring the way you're scoring, which is so cool. Let's talk a little bit about how that plays a role. Absolutely. So you have hardware and software. So if we look at the body for a moment is the hardware is what you have. The software is what you feed it. 
So what's interesting about the brain is that it's almost like a bit of both because it can make new hardware almost on demand. That's that neuroplasticity and that neurogenesis. But if you're not feeding it right, it's not getting that oxygen. You're not helping to keep that stress down. So what I've realized is that when I have my Rishi beverages and I absolutely love my mocha, uh, but I do know that when I have when I'm doing my neuro tracker, when I have a cup of king, my scores are considerably higher. And hint, hint, there may maybe because there's a little bit of sugar there. And that's just how my body is reacting. That's been my experience. But it's okay if Rishi is known for athletes that are training, lifting the weights, breaking records to help oxygenate their tissues. Why wouldn't it do that for the brain? And so I'm like, okay, hold on. So let's. Let's combine a few things here. Let's sleep a little more. Let's have a little bit more Rishi and let's see what the numbers say because the numbers are the numbers. And, it, and if you think that it doesn't move fast, I challenge you, like, get the demo. Try it. Because when it starts to move, your eyes physically don't keep up. But what, what's beautiful, I find, is that your brain is always working in the background. I mean, think about it. When we're sleeping, we're still breathing. The heart's still pumping something's telling it to do that so while we're looking at the screen your brain's taking in all the information and like that it's processed it and it's giving you an answer and that's like oh wow okay what's next have fun so josh i know you have access to the organo line you also give that mm -hmm. as a recommendation for those that want to try it out you also have a free demo for Absolutely. people that want to give the cognition a try from the comfort of their phone anywhere or home i should say or as long mm -hmm. as they have internet they can connect with you and try a free demo for, I don't know, three sessions, I think it is. Um, where can people find you if they have questions, if they want to try a free, you know, three session, give it a go and see what happens for you. Where can we find you, Josh? Absolutely. So and to get that free demo, what you want to do is to either connect with me via email and that's at Cognition Campbell, that's C-O-G-N-I-T-I-O-N-C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L at gmail.com or on Instagram at Yardy Josh. So that's Y-A-R-D-I-E-J-O-S-H. And it, here's the thing, it's, it's three sessions. So it gives you a baseline and a little window into what you can expect. But what's really cool is that when you do, it's the consistency, that's what's gonna compound. So when you look at everyone who's been using the program after about one hour, of use. So just over that 10 session mark, they start to notice things in their day to day. And that's really cool. And why it's because again, it's just that consistency, it's compounding for you. And I'm super excited to hear your story. You know what? And that's exactly it. It's the making the small little decisions every day that compound, right? Whether it's the workout, whether it's the healthy food, it's those small little decisions over time lands massive results and that's where we forget because we're so used to like the big win or the immediate gratification but it is well worth it so if you want to connect with josh and try it out um look at him up at instagram you've got some great posts i know you have some great interviews there you can find out more even about the uh, rishi infused beverages or the capsules which are really powerful find the vehicle that works right for you but it's definitely a must for brain power we know it works with nitric oxide delivery anti-inflammatory excellent for um, that brain neural synapse connection with regulating GABA glutamate and helping serotonin level, which is so powerful for overall cell health, but especially powerful for the brain. So thank you, Josh, for sharing. And anything else you want to say before we start wrapping it up soon? I know we only have a few minutes left. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, you, you touched on something that I think is so, so important. And you said GABA glutamate. And for some of you here, if you're like me, there are some days that it just feels stressful. <laughs> things are happening super fast and the stress has an impact on the brain and I, I, nothing happened by coincidence. I'm here with one of the health experts. So I'd just love to have your feedback then on stress and how Rishi interplays with that because I've noticed it personally, but for those that are listening, just a little bit deeper dive. Yeah. You know what? I think, thank you for bringing that up because the brain when it undergoes a stress, what shuts it down from thinking rationally is that neurocortex. That's the part of your brain that is the most advanced part of the brain that's developed over time. And when we're stressed, we're in fight or flight. It's the first thing to shut down. And it's almost like we draw a blank. 
And then of course we tap into something called the HPA access, um, which is all about, you know, your hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenal access. So we start tapping out those adrenals. We feel exhausted. We feel depleted for me. And I personally, my Achilles heel is actual um, uh, adrenal fatigue. And what I loved was that this uh, Ganoderma lucidum was a game changer for me because I no longer have to worry about, you know, actually worrying about, you know, not feeling replenished and feeling so fatigued, I could even barely stand showing up from day to day to my life. And a lot of people around the world are feeling that way. But now that's no longer an issue. Now it's a double edged sword, because that means I can push harder. I don't necessarily want to do that. But I'm no longer as depleted and exhausted. And that's been a game changer for me and many of my clients, the stress that we're all handling right now, especially right now, emotional, psychological, spiritual, financial, like stress is coming at everyone from every single angle. And it will start to support that access. So again, pay attention to your body. Bodies don't lie. They're really, really honest. And when you start nourishing it better, you recover better. So what they say, it's not about, you know, overtraining, overdoing things. Sometimes it's also about, are you recovering? And how does recover happen? It happens with nourishing foods. It happens with being able to sleep deep and and restore it. It also happens with taking a break, walking in nature, you know, getting that cellular biochemical feedback from the earth. You know, there's a reset point that's so intelligent. It goes beyond our scope of imagination. And that's why I love about this show is bringing on experts like yourself, Josh, every other week and powered through health. That's what it's about because our bodies are vehicle. And if we're not feeling good in it, we cannot perform well at all. And it doesn't matter what you do. So ultimately, the whole goal is to say, hey, what tools exist out there that aren't really talked about that mainstream doesn't know about or or don't discuss? And where can people get more information and having guests like yourself, Josh, that you can service literally anyone around the world? And that's part of the key is bringing on guests that have virtual offices now. What a blessing. What a wonderful time in life to have access to individuals, to technology and to different concepts that can help us globally around the world. So thank you for being with us today. Please reach out to Josh, find out more if you're a practitioner and maybe you want to bring this into your own practice. I know Josh sets up um, not only sports teams, but he also sets up different clinics, different practitioners, big or small, you know, cognition is a great tool in your toolbox as well. And it's all done virtually. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Josh is definitely leading the way that way for sure, for sure. So thank you so much, Josh, for spending this 30 minutes with us today, Empowered Through Health, and join us every other Friday. You know, we're going to have different guests from around the world sharing some great, great strategies. Ultimately, you've been blessed with a beautiful, beautiful, amazing life. It's your job, your goal to take care of this vehicle, because when your body's doing well, you do better. You're rested, you're recovered, you're on purpose, you're in passion, and now you're showing up powerfully in the world. And that's what the world needs right now is is authenticity, is empowerment, it's love, and it's passion for being alive. And that's ultimately what we want to do is to help bring those tools to everyone around the world. So stick around. Connect with Josh. Um, We'll have a five-minute commercial at the end of the show talking about the Organo product line. Um, You can learn a little bit about more about just upgrading your coffee and tea and having those everyday choices for a fraction of the cost because even the cognition and and the Ganoderma lucidum alone, that you're looking at what, $2 a day? Are you kidding me? That's that to me was a game changer. When I realized there are products out there for less than a cup of coffee that you would buy at a gas station and God knows what you're drinking. You're nourishing your body. You're doing a habit you do anyways. Why not try something different? Worst case scenario, you're healthier, you get stronger, you save some money. If you can live with that, that's your version of Skid Row. So we'll leave everybody with those thoughts today. Join us every other Friday as we bring impacted speakers around the world sharing and changing lives. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Have a good night, everyone. Bye. Thank you for listening to Empowered Through Health with Diane Solano. For more information, visit Synergy.ca. That's S-E-N-A-R-G-Y dot C-A.